Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you four reasons why your car overheats. If you are in the unfortunate situation in which your car is overheating, you've come to the right video because I will be outlining four of the more common reasons why this happens. Now don't get me wrong, there are literally over a hundred things that can cause your car to overheat. A hundred tiny little, tiny, small parts, components, and reasons. But these are four of the things that you should look into firstly simply because they're the most common or i should say the more common ones let's get right to it reason number one is having a leak in your coolant system now in my experience and my knowledge this is the most common reason the most common reason why an engine overheats now the good thing about it is that it's actually one of the easiest ones to diagnose now here's how it works you have coolant in your coolant system and if you have a leak in your coolant system then as your coolant system loses coolant fluid then it's not going to have enough coolant to circulate through the engine and keep the engine cool keep the engine from overheating so with that being said if you have a leak in your coolant system, then your car is going to overheat because it doesn't have enough coolant to keep it cool. Now, all that you have to do is look throughout your engine bay and under your engine bay for coolant, for coolant liquid. Okay, so you want to look for coolant colored liquid. And when you find that liquid, that means you have a leak in your coolant system. You need to figure out where the leak is and then you can take the appropriate steps to actually solve the leak and to actually repair the leak. Okay, so reason number one is having a leak in your coolant system. And in my experience and knowledge, it's the most common reason and you should definitely check for a leak first as soon as you notice that your engine is overheating reason number two is having a broken water pump now a water pump is a crucial component of the coolant system simply because it is used to circulate the coolant throughout the system and the engine okay so if you have a broken water pump then the coolant won't be circulating effectively and with that being said you should get it repaired if you have a broken water pump because it's going to cause it's going to be a cause or part of a cause for your engine overheating now the good thing is that in the well in the grand scheme of things with car repairs there are a lot of repairs that can be very very costly a water pump isn't one of those extremely costly repairs so with that being said that's the good side about having uh, a broken water pump and i'm just trying to be positive when i say that reason number three is having a blocked hose now the hoses are part of what allows the coolant to circulate throughout the system and throughout the engine because the hoses are what the coolant travels through now if you have a blocked hose then it's going to be blocking the coolant from circulating through the system and getting to the engine okay and if coolant can't get to the engine and can't circulate through the system then your engine will overheat so blocked hose is another thing that you should look into now hoses are actually relatively easy to replace on coolant systems uh, the majority of the uh, some hoses I should say are easy to replace on coolant systems they're one of the easier components to replace on coolant systems the main hoses I should say now the last thing the fourth thing on in this video fourth reason why is basically having a bad mix of coolant or using the wrong type of coolant now coolant is a mix of water and coolant okay coolant is a mix of water and antifreeze now if you have a bad mix then it's not going to be able to do its job effectively of cooling down the engine so although you have a full coolant system the mix within the coolant system is not a good mix so with that being said when it tries to keep your engine from overheating it won't be able to work as well as it would be able to work if it was a good mix okay so those are in my experience and knowledge four main reasons why your engine might be overheating if you're in the unfortunate situation in which your engine is overheating you should look into those these four reasons first and get it fixed asap because the last thing that you want to happen is you want to be driving and either smoke starts coming from your engine or steam starts coming from your engine or you have to pull over and shut your car off for a few hours to let everything cool down before you can make it home okay so with that being said definitely as soon as you notice your engine begins to overheat look into these four reasons and if it's not one of these four reasons then continue looking into other reasons 
why get your problem fixed solve the problem and you'll be good to go let me know in the comment section down below if you want another specific car video let me know which car video you want and i will try to fulfill that request for you subscribe to the channel for more car videos like this and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching